Now here in Tampa, the community had a chance to speak directly to the Tampa Police Department tonight at a violent crime forum. And one of the neighbors there wished police were nearby when her daughter was killed. UCLA's Trevor Sahaki live outside of Tampa Police Headquarters tonight with more on her story. Trevor. La Maria Smith lost her daughter to a shooting more than a year ago and goes to as many of these TPD community forums and meetings as she can. She just asked TPD tonight what they were doing about the neighborhood in which her daughter was killed. And I just felt like TPD should have been, you know, on every street if they could have. You know, my daughter would still be here. Savannah Mathis was out driving in December 2021 when she was shot and killed. Her mother, La Maria Smith, wishes more police were in some of the most violent neighborhoods. Just because you're an officer don't mean sit in a car, wait on a call, get out, because you never know what a criminal might have on his mind, but he might think twice if he see that cop standing on that corner. More than a year after her daughter's death, Smith pushes the Tampa Police Department to do better. TPD, they're doing the best they can. I keep enforcing more cameras, more cameras. Uh, thank God the cameras, that's what caught my daughter's death. Smith and a few more than a dozen citizens went to tonight's violent crime forum. Though it looked like cops outnumbered neighbors two to one, people had a lot to say. I have some concerns about community policing. Interim Chief Lee Burkha engaged with the community too. Actually, on recent cases, we've had more community involvement in our crime. It's led us to solving crimes more quickly. Like the case of the two officers that were shot at in January. But what led us to that case was a community member providing us tips that led us to not only recovering the gun, but making the arrest that night within hours of it happening. But Smith wants the communication with police to be a two-way street. I appreciate the events they're doing, but literally hear what we're saying take it in and, you know, just make better moves and, and show us that it's getting better. And as for the two men arrested in Mathis's shooting death uh, earlier a year ago, the one whose bullets allegedly just hit the car, he bonded out. The one who's accused of actually shooting Mathis, he is still in jail. They are both awaiting trial. That should happen sometime soon. Live in Tampa, Trevor Sahaki, 8 on your side.